I was in corporate America. I was the sales guy trying to, to work seven days a week, making as much money as I can. I woke up one day and thought to myself, you know, what exactly are you doing to get back? And sadly, the answer was nothing. It was the worst job in the building. You got there the earliest, you stayed the latest, you dealt with animals that didn't want you to be there, but it was the only job that I could take that would allow me to eventually work with the forgotten ones. One of the challenges animal shelters face with these particular dogs is they have been telling the same story to the same audience. That's where I come up with creative marketing ideas. About four years ago, there was a dog named Queen who had lived in the animal shelter for two years. She came from one of the more heartbreaking stories that you'd ever hear. So she had challenges and she, you know, wanted to be a great dog. I asked the animal shelter if I could move in, live in her kennel with her until she got adopted. It was a five by five space, but it was very cold. It was very dark looking. So I went to IKEA and I bought a little desk and I wanted to just make it look more like a bedroom than a jail cell. And I, you know, bought some pictures for the wall, a nice little clock on the wall. I put some area rugs in there. About the fifth day, the story just blew up and went viral. the door on the outside of the shelter we walk the dog out we'll throw rose petals in the air and i'll have the future adopter waiting with the door open we'll insert the dog into the car and then we'll camera and we'll wave and cheer as the dog leaves so you know nothing i do is on a small level because these animals are they need to be treated like there's something besides being treated as just the forgotten ones When you help dogs like I'm helping, and I do help cats as well, I, I don't want to uh, leave my, my feline friends out of this, but it's majority, it's dog, it's everything to me. I mean, it's, it's why I wake up in the morning, 